And we're back with Curtis Arledge of BlackRock, who helps oversee more than half a trillion dollars as co-head of fixed income portfolio management. Curtis, glad to see that we've got the camera issues sorted out there. Let's talk to you about <laughs> the yield curve, the Treasury yield curve. Curve steepening has been a profitable trade as of late. What is the risk, though, or how much of a risk is the potential for the market to begin repricing the likelihood of a, a rate hike, independent of what we heard from Chairman Bernanke early this week? You know, listen, I think the front end of the yield curve uh, is, is a very crowded trade. There's a lot of people who are in it uh, as a carry trade. Uh, a shift in policy could lead to a tremendous amount of volatility in the front end of the yield curve. Um, and there is value there. I mean, I, I don't want to dismiss that there's opportunity uh, in that carry trade. You know, candidly, when you look at how steep the yield curve gets out to 10-year uh, maturities, um, you could actually see a shift in policy in the short end, uh, and the 10-year and, the and, and longer part of the curve actually do reasonably well. Um, the yield curve is very steep. It's building in a lot of fear about a shift in policy, uh, despite Bernanke's comments that we're going to have uh, low rates for an extended period. The, the longer end of the curve really uh, has been hesitant to, to believe that. Um, it is our view, my view, that we are going to be in a, an extended period of low growth here in the U.S., low inflation. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of the issues that are being surfaced around uh, the, the lending uh, constraints in the economy that still exist um, are real. Um, I do think that there are some, some signs for optimism as well. I think the economy is responding to lower rates. And candidly, global economies uh, in, the, in the emerging world are really uh, picking up a lot of strength. It's it not, not obvious that they can absorb all the weakness in the Western economies. Um, but I think that's very real and, and worth focusing on. So, Curtis, I mean, if people are somewhat hiding out, if you like, on this shorter end, you know, because it's, it's liquid and it's easy, I want to know what you think the bond market is saying overall about the possibility of bubbles developing. Do you see any signs coming from the the bond market that points to what we've seen with gold. We've had record highs. We've had uh, returns on high risk debt, something like 52 percent. 60 percent return in stocks since March. That exactly. Kind of thing. Do you see yeah. bubbles? Do you see the bond market sending a missive? Uh, you know, I think the bond market is uh, very hesitant around uh, what all of this excess liquidity will mean longer term. I think you see it in the yield curve. Uh, I think you see it in the, in some yield spreads that are still wide uh, from a historical perspective. Much of the reason why spreads are still wide from a historical perspective has to do with the nominal yield levels that we've hit uh, in corporate bonds and, and mortgages and muni markets as well. And so I think that the uh, the big issue that we're that we're thinking about from a liquidity bubble perspective. Uh, um, is continuing to watch where it will evolve. Okay. Um, there's that so. Curtis, I'm afraid we run out of yeah, time. Sorry. That's right.